how to write literature review for a successful research proposal. Literature review is the key and the most important component of a research proposal. It basically serves the backbone of every research study. If you are in natural sciences, medicine, artificial intelligence, every field, we have to write a literature review and it serves the same functions. To my understanding, the literature review and introduction are basically the same. We do not need to include both. Sometimes the supervisor or the company organization require to include literature review and introduction. But the function of both are basically the same. Here, you have to include only literature review or you have to include only introduction. But if they require both, so you include both. But in literature review, we have to uh, analyze things in more deep, right? So this is more powerful than introduction. I will proper make paragraphs uh, how to write a literature review. I will explain uh, the literature review in four paragraphs. This means that we have to write in four paragraphs the literature review. Let me quickly give you the overview that uh, what we have to write in the literature review, right? An effective review basically summarizes all the current published articles. For example, if you are working in a specific, uh, like robotics or a specific topic of the ro in the robotics, so you have to uh, summarize all research articles uh, published on robotics or in there and that specific topic for a few years. Few years mean that now we are in 2023. And this means that you have to start study from 2019 at least, right? Don't go that old because these research from 2019 to 2023, the research article already uh, cited and already discussed the old papers. So we do not need to go. So we have to mostly focus on the latest papers, right? Once we have those papers in hand, so we have to critical analyze the content. This means that we have to look deep at what they are basically talking. From that study, from those contents, we will point out the gap, the issue, the challenges, right? So once we have that challenge in our hand, this means that we find the gap. So now we can uh, define objective, everything, and we put no research questions. This is now the main point, once we have the gap in our hand. And where this gap comes from? It comes from the literature, from those published articles. Once we start reading and once we critically analyze, so it, the gap comes from there, right? So once we have the gap in our hand, then we have to lead that gap into the research questions. This means that uh, the, sometimes the hypotheses are, uh, we have to put some hypothesis are, that is basically the central thing uh, in our study, right? And once we sort out and once we solve that problem, so this means that what our study will potentially add to the existing knowledge. So these things we have to include in writing a literature review. This means that it is not that easy to have a flow. Flow is the key here. So it takes time and uh, need very hard work. Let's divide literature review into a few paragraphs. Once we are writing literature review, so we have to include uh, all these things. The first paragraph, uh, as I explained many times in my introduction video also, that once we are writing uh, review, literature review, so we have to start from general overview of the topic. This means that we have to use the funnel approach. This is the funnel approach, you see here. This is, this is the broad overview, and this is basically the specific or narrow. Okay? So we have to start from broad overview of the topic and then narrow down it to the specific topic. I give the example of this, I am working on specific electrode in lithium ion battery. So lithium ion battery is the broad topic and this electrode is the specific topic, right? And in this first paragraph, we have to use strong and powerful sentences that grab, attract the reviewer or reader attention. So we need to have very good uh, sentences and just copy, copy those sentences from other researchers, but use it in your own language, own language, right? Own language. The second paragraph, now once we have the first paragraph, so now we have to take uh, the research article published in the field and just compare and contrast other researcher works. That this person done this and that, and it, it, it get efficiency greater than 20%, and uh, they use this material and that material. 
whatever. So we have to discuss other people who work in this paragraph. But about their topic, their specific topic, right? That uh, what is basically uh, has done in the that field and what is going now, right? Uh, this means that uh, this is for them as well so very important. Uh, the pro tip basically here is only cite publish article. This is very important and avoid your personal opinion because nobody nobody is except this. So you are not supposed to uh, give your personal opinion, right? Now let's once we once we read here the the second paragraph here. So from there we will because we are reading people's work. So we will have a gap the limitation in our head. So in the third paragraph we have to explain uh, the the limitations that why the research is needed. What are the importance of that research? And sometimes you have to keep this problem statement separate. That in the third paragraph is basically the problem statement, but in the research proposal you have to make this separate. But you have to explain this also the limitation in that previous study they gave or something, right? The tip is basically the the author basically mentioned the limitation in their papers, and it is mostly in the last section, the future perspective section, or the conclusion section. There they mentioned the limitations, right? Now the last paragraph is basically once we have the gap here so in this paragraph you have to make plan here you have to make plan that how we are going to solve that uh, problem uh, in what our finding will aid to the existing knowledge so this is basically sometimes we uh, put here objectives this means this objectives and this problem statement is the part of literature review you see here and lastly you have to explain the methodology that what methods methodology you will be using to achieve those objectives and to solve that problem.